Welcome to the Eastern Partnership Territorial Cooperation Program. We would like to present you with a number of videos that are meant to help you to fill in the application form and the budget form, should you wish to be an applicant in our program. In today's video, we're going to have a walkthrough um, the whole application form. We're going to check it part by part, what it means and understand how it works. In this video, we will look mainly at three parts. One, the cover page. Two, the concept note. Three, the full application form. About the cover page, keep in mind to keep the format present, all the information in a clear way and typed in English. Be precise and be concrete. Use a simple language. Avoid too technical language. Update the page numbers in the table of content. Must be included information about the applicant, the legal status, the Europaid ID, if you have one. If you do not, it's okay. Who is or who are the co-applicant and co-applicants and or the affiliated entities, for example, branches of your body and organization. <laughs> Поищи-ка зайку да мишку плюшевого. Now, about the concept note. It must contain a summary of the action, description of the action, maximum one page, relevance of the action, maximum three pages. Keep in mind that at the very first stage, external assessors would only read and evaluate your concept note. Just for you to know, only concept notes which obtain points from 30 to 50 will be considered for evaluation. Maximum 5 pages, A4, Arial 10 characters, with 2 cm margin and a single line spacing. The summary of the action should be maximum 1 page, title, location, duration, EU financing requested, objectives, target group, final beneficiaries, estimated results, main activities. Describing the action should take maximum one page. And remember to include 1. Background to the preparation of the action. For example, why is it crucial to address the problem? What has already been done, etc. 2. Explain well the objectives. 3. Description of the key stakeholder groups. 4. Description of activities and related outputs and results. 5. Description of the time frame. Relevance of the action should be maximum three pages and it should include 1. The objectives and priorities of the call for proposals, 2. The particular needs and constraints of the target region and or relevant sectors, specific pre-project situation in the target country region, including quantified data, detailed analysis of the problem, 3. Provide information where the action is the continuation of a previous action or part of a larger program. Four, the target group and final beneficiaries. Five, cross-border impact of the project. Part B, the full application form. Ensure compliance and clear reference to the information provided in the concept note and in Annex C. Also use the same names of activities and their order as in the action plan and concept note. In the full application form, you will have to include 1. General information 2. Information about the action 3. Information about the applicant 4. Information about the co-applicants 5. Information about the affiliated entities 6. Associates of the applicants participating in the action 7. Checklist for the full application form 8. Declaration by the applicant 9. Assessment greed of the full application form. About the action, the description should be maximum 13 pages and there should explain in detail the following one. The overall and specific objectives, outputs and results. 2. Each activity or work package. 3. The role of each co-applicant in the activities. 4. How the action will improve the situation of the target groups. Remember, to follow the scheme, overall objective, followed by the specific objective, the expected result, and for every result, elaborate the activities. Methodology 
should be maximum five pages. Namely, here you should include one, the methods of implementation and rationale for it, two, synergies with previous ongoing projects, three, follow-up and internal external evaluation, four, role of the various actors and stakeholders, five, the organizational structure and the team proposed, six, means proposed, equipment, material supplies, etc. Seven, attitudes of all stakeholders towards the action and activities. Eight, the activities that ensure visibility. Remember me. And of course, the duration of the action plan. Include the Gantt chart. Include the timing for preparation, execution and evaluation. Concerning the action plan, list the activities in the same order as previously mentioned. Allocate appropriate time for the tender procedures when necessary. Do not leave any months empty and do not name the months, just numbering. For example, do not write January, February, but month one and month two, etc. Point out who is responsible for the activity. Is it the applicant, the co-applicant, the affiliated entity? Describe here the expected impact of the action and where possible provide numbers and a dissemination plan and the possibilities of replication and extension of the action outcomes, the so-called multiplying effect. Also, please write down a detailed risk analysis and contingency plan, including a list of risks associated with each action and mitigation measures. By the way, you can do this as a table. Also, about sustainability of the action, describe and explain the main preconditions and assumptions during and after the implementation phase. Also, how the action will be made sustainable after the completion. When we talk about sustainability, we mean four types. One, the financial sustainability. Two, the institutional sustainability. Three, policy level sustainability. Four, environmental sustainability. The logical framework. Please fill Annex C and keep in mind that all the information needs to be consistent with the rest of the application form, especially the overall and specific objectives. And results need to be consistent with what you wrote on the concept note. Applicants' experience. Here, you have to provide information concerning your experience in project management and list all significant projects realized by your organization. Concerning the applicant's experience and that of co-applicants and affiliated entities, keep in mind, for similar actions, maximum one page per action. For other actions, Maximum 10. Applicant identity. Here you should provide the same information that you put in part A of the concept note. Also, when it comes to legal status, fill it and tick the appropriate boxes. Concerning category, choose the sector to which your organization belongs, as defined in its statutes, and tick the box of the category to which your organization belongs. Concerning sectors, tick the box for each sector your organization has been active in the last seven years. About target groups, tick the boxes for all your relevant target groups. <laughs> Capacity to manage and implement actions, experience by sector, meaning show the sector and tick the boxes and experience by geographical area, and tick the relevant box. Financial data, if applicable. Please give the following information on the basis of the profit and loss account and balance sheet of your organization. Remember, amounts should be in euros. Financing resources, tick the sources of the revenues of your organization and specify the additional information requested. Resources, now. This is not mandatory, 
However, we encourage you to fill it in if you have it. By the way, a copy of the external audit report may be provided instead of a copy of the applicant's latest account. Граждане, храните деньги в сберегательной кассе. Now, show the list of the management, board or committee of your organization. Co-applicants and affiliated entities concerning identity fill the table just as in the applicant. Experience by sector, also the same. Experience by geographical area, also is the same. And cross-reference, also is the same. И я один справлюсь с вашим делом. Mandate for the applicant. Each co-applicant must sign the mandate for co-applicants. Give the name of the co-applicant, fill the table, the mandate must be signed by the organization's named representative and stamped with the organization's official stamp. Affiliated entity statement. Fill the table. Statement must be signed by the organization's named representative and officially stamped. Associates, fill the table. One separate table per each associate. Checklist for the full application form. Fill in all the required information. Information has to be provided according to the explanation given in for section 3, 4 and 5. Add the lines for each co-applicant and affiliated entity. Concerning the checklist, fill it only after the whole document is completed and printed out. Check each of the listed criteria, marking the column yes or no. If you marked no, it means you did a mistake and should correct it before submitting the application. Declaration by the applicant. Fill in the table. The declaration must be signed by the organization's named representative and stamped with the organization's official stamp. Assessment grid. Print it and annex it, but do not fill it for any reason. Leave it empty. Thank you very much and good luck to you.